Welcome back to our science classes. Today we are going to learn about the chemical properties of metals and non-metals. Previous classes we have learned about the physical properties of metals and non-metals and now we are going to learn about, learn about the chemical properties of metals and non-metals. So first we know most of the metals they are reactive. Most of the metals they are reactive but only few metals they are not reactive. So the metals that are not taking part in the reaction or they, they are not reactive are known as noble metals. What are noble metals? Metals which do not take part in the reactions or they are not reactive. The metals which are not reactive are known as noble metals. We know what are the noble metals. Noble metals are the metals which are available in native states. I think you remember what is meant by native state. The metals which are available in free state are known as native elements or native metals and they are also known by the name noble metals. What are noble metals? Gold, platinum, etc. They are the noble metals. So now from this part onwards we are slowly starting or from science we are slowly getting into the part of chemistry. Here we are studying the chemical reactions. So, as beginning, we may not have idea about what is chemical reaction. First, let us learn what is chemical reaction. What is chemical reaction? A chemical reaction is a reaction between two chemical substances under required condition. Hope it is clear what is mean by chemical reaction. What is chemical reaction? It is a reaction between two chemical substances under required conditions. So, a chemical reaction usually we can represent it with the help of chemical equations in maths we are using the different equations so in the same way in chemistry also we can represent the chemical reactions with the help of chemical equations so we will learn how we can write the chemical equation 